Final from Bill Armstrong Stadium, Indiana 1, St. John's nil. Jack Edwards and Austin Platt here for the Hoosier Network after the match. Austin, IU dominating that first half, couldn't get a goal to show for it. It came down to a special moment from Tommy Mahalik. Just talk me through that. Oh, it was unbelievable. To start the second half, ball's kind of just up in the air. And a nice play from uh, Quinton Helmer, I believe it was, to, uh, to get the ball in the air. And uh, Mahalik just kind of went after it on a bit of a half bicycle, a little scissor kick action. Ball finds the, the corner, just a goal out of the, the top drawer. And Mahalik was kind of surprised himself as well. Said afterwards, never tried it before. He may never try it again because, hey, he's one for one when doing it. 100% ratio with the scissor kicks, but probably going to stick with it then. So, you know, those first two matches of the season, IU loses 3-2 to Clemson, draws 3-3 with Portland. High scoring, thrilling matches, but couldn't get a win in either one of them. Performance wise in this one, the result obviously a big improvement. What did you see change, improve in this match? I definitely thought they were much more compact. They had that shape that they needed. We know, you know, Yeagley's still trying to figure out that formation that works, but they were better. It was much cleaner. It was not back and forth. The first two games were absolutely crazy, but they definitely settled it down. They were better on the wings defensively, mitigating the wide threat, making sure the counterattacks did not end up in a goal. And I think it was much better Overall, there's still things to improve on, but the biggest thing is a win, and I think it was definitely their best result of the season. So going forward now against Akron, another top 10 match, currently ninth in the United Co uh, Soccer Coaches poll. What needs to change? What needs to stay the same for Indiana going into that match? I'll, st I'll start positive here. What needs to stay the same is the fact that they generated enough chances to win. You talked about the preseason. Todd Yeagley talks about that afterwards. In the first few matches, they really didn't create enough chances to score and to win. Portland match, okay, they created plenty of chances and probably should have won that game. So they, they created enough to win. Offense has kind of been the problem going into the season, but it was much better tonight. What they need to change is the fact that they sat back in those last 20 minutes, kind of allowed this St. John's team to get back in the match, get some solid chances, and they definitely played back a bit. More. They were very aggressive in the first 30 minutes, which is why they dominated and definitely deserved a goal. They didn't get one, but in the last 20 minutes, if they're ahead, they need to be better and definitely more aggressive. You can't allow the team back into the match. Well, we mentioned it. Next match is on Friday against Akron. Make sure you follow the Hoosier Network and myself, Jack Edwards, and Austin Platt all season long for all the updates you need. Final from Bill Armstrong Stadium, Indiana 1, St. John's now.